Hey YouTube, it's General J. Smith, they're back with another general update. Lord knows what number this is, I'm pretty sure in the 80s, but whatever. Anyway, so this is my first update of 2016, so Happy New Year, guys. I can't believe I haven't actually said that. <laughs> it's like February, but still. So, yeah, um, what's to talk about? Basically, in this update, I'm going to be more or less talking briefly about what happening, what's changed, because there's so much that if I went through it all in detail, just oh, too long, too long. Uh, also, I'll be going through basically my 2016 plans, just in a very, again, very general fashion, you know, what's going to happen, and just various things, just goals, more or less. Um, so let's get started. So what's been happening since my last update, which was like some point in December or something, I don't even know when it was. Uh, actually, no, for that, I'm talking about one thing that happened today. Today, I went to see... Deadpool with my friend, we saw it about midday, and it was, and I know I say this with like every film I ever watch, but it actually was really good, and he agreed with me, uh, and I've seen like a couple reviews, and they all think it was really good, I am really glad it was good, I mean that may sound obvious, like, well obviously wanted to be a good film, but just because, let's be honest, we were a bit of a disaster when it came to X-Men Origins Wolverine, when it came to Deadpool, and I was so worried, because it took so long to get this film made, I was so worried that if this film flopped, it just would, you know, just that would be it, to Deadpool, just that. And Deadpool is such an awesome character in comics, he really, really is. Um, so I'm so glad this film was so good, and there's, oh, there's definitely going to be a sequel, come on, there's definitely a sequel. There's going to be spin-offs, I mean, not spin-offs, sorry, I'm like, um, uh, I'm thinking of collabs, what, what do you call them? Oh, um, team up things. Basically, he's going to be in, like, you know, mix and match. Oh, there's a word. I, I can't think of it. But basically, he's going to be an X-Men. He's going to be a bunch of films. Deadpool is definitely here to stay. It was such a good film. So the film itself then, it was actually 15. I thought it was an 18, but it wasn't. It was 15. But still, uh, the film itself then, it was more or less everything you'd want from a Deadpool film, to be honest with you. If, uh, this is a, a good thing to say, uh, when it comes to humour, if you're a fan of things like Family Guy or South Park or that kind of humour, you'll like Deadpool and you'll like this film because it's very much a lot like that and I loved the entire thing. It does break the fourth dimension quite a lot but it does it in such a beautiful way, just a perfect way. I'm not going to spoil it, don't worry, I'm not going to spoil any of the jokes but they are really good. Like it talks, I, no, I can't spoil it but just he says some stuff and it's like, uh, it's just, it's not even cliche, it's not like oh, you know, guys, hey, look at this idiot, or whatever. It's like, it's actual legit stuff, almost like you're actually thinking. Um, so, yeah, just, just it was such a really, really good film. My, my friend agreed with me, and other people agree, and it's just, yeah, go watch it. If you're, I really hope you're old enough to watch it, because it really was a good film. Seriously, I'm definitely going to get a DVD, and I'm definitely going to say, one of the best Marvel films, well, okay, maybe. No, I'll think about it, actually. I was about to say one of the best Marvel films to date, but... That's, that's difficult. Definitely one of the best Marvel films made by Fox, like when it comes to X-Men or Fantastic, Fantastic Four, or Spider-Man? I think Fox owns Spider-Man, no, that's Sony in it. I don't remember. Well, the point is, you know, it's definitely one of the best Fox Marvel films. Uh, one, of the, one of the best Marvel films, period, eh, debatable, but still is really, really good. I do, if you can, I highly recommend watching, because it's, it's kind of refreshing change. It really is. And that's kind of in the trailers about how, you know, it's meant to be a different kind of superhero film. And you know, I mean, action's all good, I and mean, we all love the action. And of course, we've got Guardians of the Galaxy, and we've got Ant Man, which was comedy based as well. But this really, really is a comedy with a ton of action. Like Ant Man and Guardians of the Galaxy, they had comedy in it, and I really did love the comedy in um, Guardians of the Galaxy. And I loved how it was mixed in, and you know, it was much more down to earth kind of superheroes. But this is such a, I mean, it's just, I don't know, just, just is so cool. But yeah, by the way, the reason I'm standing like this is because uh, we've got a new light bulb. Uh, which is weird, kind of, so, like, if I were to move over here, or whatever, or maybe not over here, but still, if I moved around, I would go in the dark, or whatever. The point is, yeah, so it was a really good film, highly recommend watching it, yeah, totally awesome. Um, yeah, okay, so moving on to actual LEGO stuff then, you may have noticed in a couple of my recent reviews, I have got a banner, yeah, which I was inspired to get by Three Brick Friends. So shout out to Three Brick Friends, Mike. So yeah, um, and there it is, more or less. <laughs> There's my banner. It's really cool, right? Uh, it's pretty small actually. It's not as large as Three Brick Friends banner, just because it was more expensive than I realised. Because uh, it's it's not made out of paper, obviously. It's made out of I I don't I don't know, but it's made out of a special material, you know, poster material. And you know, I've, um, I've uh, blue tacked it up, and as well, I got a hundred. 
business cards, which are pretty cool, right? Yeah. So check them out. I'm probably going to give them to my local Lego store or Toys R Us or whatever, and then hopefully they'll give them out to Lego purchases. Things along those lines. So it's pretty pretty cool. The reason I've got this money, by the way, mainly I mean I always, I always kind of want a banner. Uh, partially down to three brick friends got one. I thought that was really cool. I should get a banner. And also partially down to the fact that uh, I can't remember who who was it. I don't know. Someone left a comment. Uh, in fact, actually, in recent months, a few people have been leaving comments saying that you know I should change my setup because it looks weird. You know, like half of it, like half of my base place not being there and stuff like that. Uh, when it comes to like reviews and stuff, the reason, by the way, that was, uh, and the reason I changed it, because originally, you know, back in 2013, it was complete base plates. The reason I put half of it like this is because for vehicles with wheels, like I don't know those vehicles to say, um, I was gonna do it so like I could test it out almost, so like test how it works on studs and how it works on that sort of thing. But it didn't really happen. Uh, but still, yeah, so instead of just putting, like, you know, getting more base plates and stuff like that, I decided to completely change up the entire thing. So I thought, hey, it's, I've had the same design of, like, background for a while, so I want something different. So there you go, that's why that's there. Um, yeah, more or less, and again, those are the business cards. So very cool. Moving on, recently I've made, holy snap, I've made so many Lego purchases, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, not to mention, like, I don't know, a ton of the ballot packs. I'm, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm somewhat rubbing this in your face if you're from the US. But I've bought a ton of the ballot packs which you don't have, which are like these, well actually no, not a ton, but these ballot packs with these guys. I've got three of them and four of the other one, where are they? I don't know. They're sort of around here somewhere, the um, Rebel ballot packs, as well as I've got... Four of the resistance battle packs and three of the what was the other one? The other like uh, first order battle pack. So in total, that's like I don't know a lot. Something like fourteen or something battle packs. That's a lot of battle packs. Um, so yeah, and because of that, and because I made a ton of purchases, including of course the um, summer. What was going on? The winter line. <laughs> I ended up getting quite a lot of promotional things. Seriously, we're just going to go through this very quickly. This is my box collection, by the way. This is just boxes I like to keep. Because I do like to keep some boxes, not many, but still. Alright, so, I got a C3 Blue Polar Bag. In fact, I got two of these. Seriously, because I spent over £50 on multiple occasions, I got two of these. So, I've opened one, by the way. Because I was, I was going to... I mean, there's no point in reviewing it. It's, it's already out, you know. So, I'm just keeping this in the bag. I'll probably give this away in like a future giveaway or something, so we'll see. Uh, I've also got like, I mean, I've got this from a while, I've got this from uh, a, a girlfriend of a brother. A girlfriend of a brother. Anyway, I'm um, sorry, so yeah, I've still got that in the bag. I also got this friend's poly bag, which they gave me, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, it's Lego, I don't really care at all, but still. And I got two of these in the box, well, obviously, as if they'd give us without the box, but you know, and I've not opened either. I was going to, I really was, I was going to review them, but the thing is I was so busy over the Christmas period, I was like, ugh, I just don't have time to do them. Uh, and now, long past Christmas, it's like, do I want to open either? Because in all honesty, I don't particularly want either. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of City. I mean, nothing wrong with it, obviously. I'm just, you know, not a big collector of it. So I might keep them and do something with them. I think they're a little big to give away in a giveaway, just in terms of me thinking about, you know, um, Postage and things, although we'll see. I don't know, but yeah, so I've got a ton of freebies and just a whole lot of Lego I've got recently. Um, but yeah, I think it's more as it's then to that. I mean, there's probably like a ton of stuff. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, thank you guys so much for 1500 subscribers. I know I reached it some time ago, but I reached 2000 on the 6th of November, and then less than three months later, I know it's more than three months later now, but you know, before less than three months later. I got 2,500, I got 500 in less than three months, which is kind of crazy. In one month, I think it was Jan in January, I got 200 in one month, which is kind of unheard of for me. So, <laughs> that's kind of insane. Um, thank you guys then so much for subscribing, more than 2,500. Man, it feels like yesterday I was celebrating 2,000, and now it's 2,500. I am closer to 3,000. Uh, and I just want to say, by the way, even though I don't have ever really make New Year's resolutions or goals or anything like that per se, just because I feel like, you know, if you want to make a goal, if you want to do something, then you shouldn't have to wait till New Year's. You know, if you want to go to gym, then go to gym, you know? Anyway, um, but that being said, I kind of made this last year, but it was kind of informal. Uh, like, I was kind of like, oh, I guess, you know. But this year, I'm actually going to make a proper thing, goal, right? By the end of 2016, I would very much appreciate uh, 4,000 subscribers, which sounds kind of crazy, 
And, wait for this, I can't even believe I'm going to say, I can't even believe this is possible, but I would very much like it if I could get 1.2 million views on my channel. Holy banana, that, that sounds insane, but bearing in mind that I've got more than 750,000 now, which is, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, by the end of 2016, it'd be really cool if I had 1.2 million views. Wow, 1.2 million. Holy bananas. Whatever. And if I had 4,000 subscribers. And those sort of numbers, I'm just plucked them out of the air. I've chosen those numbers based on the sort of subscribers I get per month and that kind of stuff. And it's not, like, I've, I've made those numbers, so they're not easy. Like, they're not, oh, well, obviously I'll get it because, you know, I'll get that tomorrow or whatever. It's not like I want, you know, 10 more subscribers and such. <laughs> it's, um, so those goals are really, like, they're doable. But they're not really easy, so I still have to, you know, work at it and, you know, to try and get those goals. But yeah, wow, that's kind of crazy actually. Um, again, so much stuff I'm forgetting, but this update's already long enough probably. So, yeah, quite frankly, oh yeah, by the way, once again, space, dear God. I mean, so far everything's fit, but it's, it's, it's getting close, say at least. I mean, you've already got a couple... You know, space, not spaceships, whatever, you know, those vehicles up there. And, uh, <laughs> no idea where that ship's going to go, or that, but I'll figure it out. We'll see. Um, what's coming this year in terms of 2016, you know, new videos? Well, more of the same, more or less, is, is what I can tell you. More of the same. <laughs> I can't really say much. I do, I said this last year, hell, I said it 2014, but I do want to really get into stop motion. Oh, yeah, that's... That's what I'm going to talk about. I'm so sorry this update's so long, but it's been so long since I've done an update, so whatever. Hopefully you're still here. Anyway, so this year, I'm going to finish college in June, actually. Funny enough, I think it's the 24th of June, because my mum actually searched it today. Um, the point is, at some point in June, I'm going to finish college. My two-year course will be done, okay? Then question, what do I do next? Most people in my class are either going to uni, or they're getting a job, or... Well, yeah, actually, that's, those are the two options. I... Have over, over the Christmas period, I was doing a lot of researching with my mum about what I'm going to do. Uh, and I, and I, I've come to the conclusion, I came to the conclusion like a long time ago, like before, I think some point in 2014 or something, you know, a long time ago, I didn't want to go to uni straight away. I might want to go, you know, I've got nothing against it. I might go at some point, but I didn't want to go straight away, uh, partially because it's just so expensive and partially because I didn't know what I want to do with my life, to be honest. Um, like... Yeah, I mean, I enjoy film and I enjoy YouTube, but I'm going to be completely honest, I'm not passionate about these things. I could work a lot harder when it came to YouTube, and I'd probably grow a lot quicker. You know, if my videos, I could step them up, and I assume if they were better, you know, it'd be better for me. Oh, or text or something. But anyway, uh, um, but yeah, I could do a lot better, but not only this and more or everything, it's kind of just something I enjoy. It's a, it's a hobby. I enjoy it. I would like to do it. But it's not my passion, you know, and neither, neither is film, to be completely honest. I like it, and I like doing it, I like running around with the camera, but it's not my passion, you know. Uh, and that's the problem, because uni is expensive, and in all honesty, you can't go to uni, I mean, you can, but you shouldn't, I don't think you should really go to uni if unless you're really passionate about what you're doing, because it's like 27 grand, and 27 grand is quite a lot of money by anyone's standards. Um, so, I don't want to be spending that sort of money and have to be in debt, even, especially if I'm like not even 100% confident on what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so I'm not going to go to uni straight away. And we've been thinking a lot about what I'm going to do in June, or rather September, you know, whenever I start. Whether I do a job, whether I do an apprenticeship. For a long time, I think you're doing an apprenticeship. That, to be honest, and no one knows this. Like, none of my friends know this. The only people who know this is my parents. Do I? I don't know my siblings know. I don't know my siblings know this. They might know this. My parents know, obviously, but I don't know. Whatever I say this on the internet right now, <laughs> I am officially, like, I'm not just saying I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm actually, we've decided, I, I say we, I've decided to do nothing. <laughs> Hear me out. Okay, I'm not going to uni, as I said, straight away. I might go at some point, as I said, but not straight away. I'm not doing an apprenticeship. Not getting a job. There you go. <laughs> um, so the question is, what am I going to do? Am I going to sit on my butt for a year? No, I'm not going to do that. I am going to do something. And I may regret saying this, but... This. I'm doing this. Seriously. I'm going to step up my game. And 
I want to stress, I never want, well, okay, now I don't say I don't want, I never expect, nor is it a big deal if this never becomes my job. That's, n that's not why I do this. But still, I almost, I'm doing it for a year, just for a year, you know, I mean, well, maybe maybe longer, I don't know. But at least for a year, until September 26, 17, um, I want to do this full time, and we'll see what happens. I mean, also, oh no, all those two, uh, me and my mum are looking at extra, like, in terms of, like, an extra, you know, in a film kind of placements. Um, basically, you just, you know, walk about. An extra in a film. What do you the extras? I'll be that. But that's not the point. The point is... Well, for at least the next year, this is more or less what we're doing. I, I mean, I will be doing this other sort of part-time little job where we're just getting a little money on the side. It's not really, nothing serious. This is my main thing. YouTube. There you go. That is literally be it for at least a year. Which is kind of terrifying. This will be the first year of my entire life where I, in September, will not be going into some sort of education. Because every year, every single year, straight from GCSEs, I went to college. Straight after. Like, there's no gap. So this will be the first year ever where I'm not going to go on to some sort of job or whatever in September, which is kind of scary. But, um, I'm kind of excited. I'm not going to lie. And it's not literally, I'm not, I'm not doing this as like a lazy, you know, just, get, oh, I can just sit around and all that. Although that's a plus. It's a plus that I can get up when I want. That's a plus. But, I'm not doing that because that, because I am going to work hard. I actually am, and my parents don't really believe me, because when my parents heard that this is my idea, they were not su very supportive at first, but no, it's all right now, They're all, it's all right now, you know, they've kind of got used to it, and like, all right, all right, you know, we'll help you out, um, and, yeah, more or less, there you go, that's my plan for at least the next year, maybe even longer, we don't know, but at least until September, or, you know, summer next, in 2017, I'm um, I mean, not now because I'm still in college, but at least when I break up in June this year, from then on, this will be it. I'll just be doing YouTube. That's terrifying. Um, <laughs> and we'll see where it goes, quite frankly, because this is, if you will, my experiment time. Sounds weird. But um, in terms of, because I, I don't, as I said, I don't have a passion. So it's like, well, what do I do? I don't want to just go a mediocre job. I mean, there was an apprenticeship, which I saw, which paid like nine grand a year, which I could have taken. And I could have got, I, but I, and I could have gone the interview, but I decided not to, because I was like, this, it's like a full time. I'm, don't go, I'm not one of these, okay, maybe I am. <laughs> in, in some ways, maybe I'm a spoiled rich kid. But, um, like, it was a full time thing. And, you know, I didn't think I could realistically do YouTube the best I could with that. And, Again, I know YouTube is not a viable career option, and I don't want to do it as a viable career option, but how to explain? I just... I want YouTube to be more priority, if that's the thing. I get the feeling this video has become more depressing than I mean it to, and it's also a lot longer than I mean it to. I can't tell, by the way, in the viewfinder, it doesn't show the time, but that's not the point. There you go, though. I'm not going to take any more of your time. That's it. Um... Thank you guys for watching. A lot more is coming. Uh, yeah. Although, saying that, I don't actually know what my next video is going to be. Because I've done this, the winter sets. I think so. Maybe like a top 10 or a comparison. Or something. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. My 80-something eight update. Happy 2016. Yet this year, I'm actually going to try both personally. Because also personally, I'm going on a bit of a diet. Yeah. Uh, and on YouTube, which I guess you would say professionally. Personally and professionally, is YouTube considered professional? Whatever. I'm going to be, actually try in this year. No promises, because last year I tried to promise I'd do stop motions and, well, you know. <laughs> so, no promises, but hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. I don't know what next time will be. I don't know what my next video will be, but next time. Yeah. <laughs> Bad troops, stop texting me.